This is Wonder Kids, a podcast where you send in your big science questions and the amazing SciTech staff find the answers. My name is Zaya and I've been thinking a lot about explosions in small rooms because of a question sent in by Maxton. Hi, my name is Maxton and now I'd like to know how a turbine works. And to answer that question, Leah joins us again today. Hi, Maxton. That's a great question. In our previous episode, we talked about how rockets fly into space, and it just so happens that an airplane turbine works in a very similar way. Just like a rocket, a turbine burns fuel with fire and oxygen to create explosions that creates the thrust that pushes the airplane. But there are two differences. First, remember that a rocket goes upwards because the hot gases escape through the opening at the bottom, pushing the rocket up. Airplanes do go up a little bit, but they mostly move forwards through the air to reach their destination. So an airplane needs to create thrust that makes it move forwards. To do that, the opening in the turbine needs to be placed in a different position, this time on the backwards facing side. The hot gases from the explosion escape out the back and the kinetic energy will push the plane forwards. That's the first difference. The second difference though is pretty cool. A rocket needs to carry both fuel and oxygen into space because there is no oxygen in space. An airplane, however, it's flying through the Earth's atmosphere where there is lots of oxygen. So to power a turbine, an airplane only needs to carry fuel. To get the oxygen, an airplane turbine uses a big fan at the bottom to suck in large amounts of air. Once the air moves into the turbine, there are smaller little fans that start to push all of the air together into a small little room. This is called compression. When the fuel and fire are added into this small room, boom! The explosion happens, creating kinetic energy. The shape of this room is very carefully designed so that there's a small little hole at the front to allow the air through and a really big opening at the back, just like a rocket. This way, as the hot gases escape from the explosion, pushing out in all directions inside the little room, they will escape through the large opening in the back. But this is the cool part. There are small little fans in front of the opening. So as the hot gases escape, a little bit of the kinetic energy spins these fans. This is where the term turbine comes from, because these little fans are what powers the airplane turbine itself similar to a windmill or a wind turbine. As the fan spins, they transfer their kinetic energy to the big fan at the front, which keeps it spinning and sucking in more and more air. This way, the explosions can continue to happen and the airplane can keep on moving forwards. It doesn't stop there though. Those little fans also transfer some of their kinetic energy into electrical energy so that it powers everything inside the plane too. The design of an airplane turbine is very clever because it's doing all these wonderful things to keep everything running. This sounds very complicated, but don't worry. All you need to know is that a turbine uses the kinetic energy to both push the plane forward and to power itself and the whole plane. Amazing! So there you have it. The way these wonderful machines work is by using explosions to transform stored energy into kinetic energy, which pushes our machines to wherever they need to go. Thanks for your question, Maxton. Thanks for finding out the answer for us, Leah. So, just like a rocket launching into space, an aeroplane turbine is powered by a series of explosions which create kinetic energy that move our planes forward and up. Hmm, can you think of anything else that uses an explosion to move forward? Thanks for listening to Wonder Kids. This podcast is brought to you by SciTech. Explore your world through wonder.